you know that the structural and the functional unit of a living organism is a cell then what is a tissue tissue is nothing but it's a group of cell that works similar in structure they are similar in structure work together to achieve a particular function that means the group of cells similar in structure performing a similar function that we call it as a tissue we shall discuss in this chapter about the plant tissue so first of all let us try to understand that how many types of plant tissues do we have so let us make a chart of plant tissues basically we classify plant tissues into two categories number 1 that is meristematic tissue or else that is temporary tissue and number 2 that is the permanent tissue meristematic tissue is further classified into three categories that is apical meristem intercalary meristem and lateral meristem we shall discuss about each of these meristem their structure and the function little bit later on whereas the permanent tissues are further classified into two groups that is simple permanent tissue and complex permanent tissue simple permanent tissues are the tissues which are composed of similar kind of cells whereas the complex permanent tissues are composed of different kinds of cells that means many different types of cells unite together to form a complex permanent tissue the simple permanent tissue is further classified into three categories that is parenchyma collenchyma and the sclerenchyma wherein parenchyma is further classified as parenchyma of erenchyma and chlorenchyma whereas sclerenchyma is further classified into two different types that is sclerenchyma fibers or sclerides also known as stone cells whereas the complex permanent tissue is classified into two categories that is the conducting tissues what we call it as xylem and phloem so a plant tissue classified into meristematic and permanent tissue meristematic into three apical intercalary and lateral meristem whereas permanent into two more simple permanent and complex permanent tissues complex permanent classified as xylem and phloem you know that they are the conducting tissues whereas the simple permanent tissue further classified as parenchyma collenchyma and sclerenchyma parenchyma further classified as parenchyma of erenchyma and chlorenchyma and sclerenchyma further classified as sclerenchyma fibers and sclerides also known as stone cells